Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I do want to thank you for coming to my channel and for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. The first item that I have today is an article entitled on Substack entitled, It May Be Human Nature to Silence People You Disagree With, But That Doesn't Make It Right. This is an article, it's actually an interview with a, a psychologist who has written several books with really, really long names. <laughs> and you can see those when you look at the article. I'll put the link in the description. But I wanted to read a couple of paragraphs of it. I spoke to Twenge recently to ask her about how entitlement, a key characteristic of narcissism, appears to be the key element in the rising demand for censorship. She agreed that it was, but Twenge also pointed out that in most times and places in world history, free speech has not really been a thing. Well, that's definitely true. It, it's really kind of a recent thing with uh, the Magna Carta and, and things that followed that. It was a good reminder for me that the demand for censorship, which comes from elites who believe they are more intelligent and sophisticated than the masses they wish to censor, is very primitive. Intolerance and tribalism are older than tolerance and pluralism. <laughs> very true. And it is the elites who think they're better than us. They're smarter than us. They know more than us. They make better decisions than us about our lives. Ah. The second article that I have is really not an article, it's a podcast. And I'm not going to show it to you. It's about 30 minutes long. But it's a Cheryl Atkinson podcast called After Hours. And it talks about the risks of cell phones, 5G, and, and abruptly, and, 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 abruptly halted government safety research project. And you have to wonder why the government halted it. Nowadays, I would just assume it's some kind of corruption involved. Sad to say, but it's true. And then finally, the third article that I have is not really an article, it's a uh, post on X and it's by a Gabriel Noranha. And basically it talks about whistleblower emails that reveal that John Kerry blocked the FBI and the DOJ from arresting Iranian terrorists and agents on U.S. soil in order to protect the Iran deal. He even ran away from a White House meeting to avoid getting confronted by the Attorney General. Man, I tell you, if there is one person in our government that I despise, it's John Kerry. The man has no morals or ethics whatsoever. And we narrowly escaped him being elected president, which is terrifying. New FBI emails, this is the second tweet, new FBI emails uh, reveal Kerry's State Department successfully blocked the arrest of six Iranian targets, even one who was mid-flight to the United States. Kerry wasn't obliged to appear, wasn't obliged to appease Iran. He chose to. Oh, if you read through all this stuff and you're not disgusted by it, then I don't know what to tell you. That's the news for today. I pray for you that you will live an abundant life, that you will be healthy, that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm, and that you are born again if you're not already. I pray that God will do that same thing for every person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will let your request be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.